गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एम आई एडिबल Yes, yes. So we'll wait for uh, two minutes. So meanwhile, others can join. Okay. okay so today plan is like uh, so we have some additional uh, ppa questions so first i'm going to share my screen so we'll discuss one by one okay. i hope my screen visible right yes sir okay. yeah okay i'm going to share my screen there you can see a problem statement okay so i will give 2 minutes to understand the problem statement so after that we can discuss okay so this is first pt 2.1 yeah. okay is it visible clearly Hello. Yes, sir. It's visible. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if not, uh, you can see here also. So, this is better, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Sir, will this file be available? Hello. Sir. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, sir. Uh, will this be PDF? Will this PDF be available for us? Yeah. No, no, no. It's not for you. Oh. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, I have issue in practice assignment question. Practice assignment question. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll discuss uh, after that. Okay. 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 Actually, some of the some part of the question is not visible. Okay. So in PPA, hello. I'm saying, sir, some part of the question is not yeah, please visible. Scroll it down. Scroll it down. Uh, zoom out a bit. Zoom out a little bit. And yeah. scroll it. I 
I think it's clear, right? Yes, yeah, sir. it's visible now. Okay. Did you understand the problem statement, or? Uh... Yes, sir. Ah, okay. And now you tell me how to go about it. How to start coding for this problem statement? So may I? Ah. Uh, sir, in this, uh, if we see the patterns that uh, the division is happening is like, uh, if we uh, first we have to take an input, yeah, convert yeah, yeah. it into the integer value. Okay. And after so, that, so shall I take it as roll number? Roll number is equal to, okay. So yeah. in top of input. input. Yes. Sir. Okay. So now whatever the required input so that is we are going to read like this right yes sir. Yeah. yeah after that so after, after that, that a pattern is following like uh, if we uh, look at the last uh, last row then yeah. if uh, if the roll number is divisible by 4 then it will come in the emender means uh, uh, the roll number uh, the person sign uh, with the number 4 it will give in the emerlet if it is a roll number a percent three, then it will come in Ruby. Similarly, roll number if uh, else if it's a roll number percent uh, two, it will come in uh, periodic. And similarly, roll number percent uh, one, it will come in the sapphire. So else if conditions uh, will suffice here. Yeah. So, so see here. Actually, we yeah. can uh, do. Uh, we can just let assume of least like uh, for sapphire the least is one five nine thirteen and then after that <clears throat> uh, uh, if we input uh, any integer like five and uh, it is in the sapphire list then uh, just output the sapphire for that we have to construct the complete row mm -hmm. and uh, we don't know the standard excuse me sir actually from. that's why i'm just uh, talking about the least that is one five nine thirteen seventeen. See here uh, in V two. Okay, so still the uh, lists are not introduced. Okay, so here uh, we should concentrate on this. Uh, okay, control statements. Okay, if else conditions. So okay. using those we should. Uh, okay, so we should uh, uh, chase. Uh, so we should uh, accomplish this task. Okay. Hello, sir. sir, I did yeah. not get why did he use the module of function. Yes. yes. See, yeah, yeah, I... I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that only. See here. No. Uh, so class. Sir, can I explain, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, when you have four rows, there is one, two, three, four counting. Hai. And in the second column, there is a division of the division. So, I started from the first row. How do I know how to understand it? Because in the first row, there are all the mathematical terms and all the entries. But I found that if I modulate the modulus from 1, then every number will come to the first row. Two से करूँगा तो four के जो multiple होंगे sir initially I think we should divide the roll numbers into even and odd numbers then we should proceed so the better approach would be uh, like finding the um, divide divide the roll number by four and uh, get the I mean no divide modulo and get the remainder yeah and then it's if easy. that remainder is zero then it would be emerald otherwise it would be if it's one then sapphire two then peridot or three if ruby yeah, 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 yeah. The same so you because are uh, else, uh, if we consider anything more than the, the uh, if else statement or whatever we use, it just uh, uh, becomes much more complex. 
see it's yeah, not yeah. about making a program complex it's about solving the program right yeah hello okay. sir yeah, yeah yeah sir which question is this anand myself anand hello she is asking about the question i believe the questions are updated in the practice programming test which we have which we have in our portal yeah yeah so these are updated no yeah Hello. yes sir they yeah, update, yeah. updated oh, yeah. just some time yeah. before ha uh ha -huh. so what is your doubt hello okay see here class teacher has decided to split her entire class into four groups right so here how class teacher okay so class teacher split entire class into four groups so see here if you see this sapphire okay in sapphire so here 1 5 9 13 17 21 and 21 okay so here we are going to read the roll number okay so here we should tell based on the roll number we should tell whether student is belongs to either sapphire uh, peridot or ruby or emerald group so which group he belongs to so based on the roll number okay so see sapphire okay in sapphire so 5 9 13 17 21 okay so these are the roll numbers okay present in the sapphire okay so now if you divide okay these roll numbers okay these roll numbers by 4 okay what is the remainder see five remainder four okay how much you will get five remainder four one hello am i audible yeah one right yeah yeah now nine, nine remainder four how much one 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 and thirteen remainder one. One. One right. So now the roll number, okay, the roll number which is which is divided by four, okay. If you get remainder as one, that is belongs to which group? Sapphire. 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 Ah, now coming to peridot, okay. Yeah, six, ten, okay, fourteen. 18 22 ah now 14 remainder 4 mm. now you tell me 14 remainder 4 is equal to how much 2 2 2 and 22 yeah 22 remainder 4 how much means two. the roll number which is divided by 4 and if you get remainder 2 then that roll number okay that roll uh, that roll number is belongs to peridot Ah, uh, now don't. coming to Ruby. Ah, uh, now you tell me, Ruby. Here eleven, take eleven nineteen randomly. Ah, uh, eleven, remainder four. Ah, uh, how much? Three. 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 And nineteen remainder four. How much? Same. Same. Three. 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 Okay. Now whatever the roll number, yeah, whatever the roll number divided by, okay, four. And if you get remainder as three, then that roll number belongs to Ruby group. okay and uh, what is the default one so if it is not uh, if you not get remainder 1 2 3 then what is the remainder remaining remainder we will get zero right zero yeah we will get zero yes okay yeah so you can start with zero or one anything you can start okay zero to okay zero 1 2 3 like that or you can start from 1 2 3 okay you can put anything in default case either 0 or 3 or anything okay so now i am going to start the code see first we have to okay we have to read the roll number right roll roll is equal to yeah. uh, int of input sorry input okay So now we'll get what uh, roll number here. Okay. Now if yeah. Yeah. okay if roll reminder four. Okay, roll reminder 
फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स इमारेट एमराल्ड हाउस राइट दिस वन राइट सो यू शुड प्रिंट ही इज बिलोंग्स टू लाइक दिस ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू हेलो सर हेलो या या सर व्हाई वी आर डिवाइडिंग हियर बाय 4 ड्यू टू फोर ग्रुप्स या हियर वी आर डिवाइडिंग Row number, oh, sorry. Here we are dividing entire class into four groups, right? So that's that's why we are dividing uh, with four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next. We'll see. Ah, row number, remainder, four is equal to one. Ah, now you tell me. Now. Row number belongs to which group? It is okay. Fire. Fire. First one. First. See here. If you divide row number with four, and if you get okay one as remainder. Sapphire. Sapphire. Yes. Yes. Sapphire. Right. Yeah. Next, Elif. Ah, now, roll number, reminder four is equal to two. Ah, now you tell me. Peri dot. Print. Peri dot. Peri dot, right? Peri dot. Next, what is the default case? चलाई सर आई थिंक द स्पेलिंग इज रॉन्ग सर फायर अप सर डबल पी देयर डबल पी डबल फिर सर सो फायर हैज डबल पी डबल पी वन सेकंड विल चेक या 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 so here we can ignore the presentation error okay slash okay so this one very easy right so we'll get uh, some what complexity question by question okay yeah so here you can also start if roll number remainder 4 is equal to 3 okay roll number remainder 4 is equal to 3 ah uh, now you tell me ah uh, what is What is uh, printing statement here? For suppose, ruby, ruby, right? Next, row number remainder two. Sorry, four is equal to two. Ah, uh, is equal to two means peridot. And uh, row number remainder, okay? Row number remainder one is equal. To, sorry, row number remainder four is equal to uh, one. Now, what is belongs to sapphire? Sapphire. Ah, uh, now in this case, what is the Fire. default case? What is the default case? Emerald. Ruby. Emerald. 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 Yes. Roll number remainder yes. four is equal to zero is the default case. If you start from three, three, two, okay. one, then default case become water. 
this emerald okay you can write either way okay so i will write uh, in that way see here roll number reminder 4 is equal to 3 uh, now you tell me this is belongs to which group no? ruby right ruby okay ruby ah uh, next roll number reminder 4 is equal to 2 ah uh, now this is belongs to which group peridot Peridot. Peridot, right? Peridot. So simply Peridot. Next, row number reminder one. Ah, uh, then that is belongs to which group? Sapphire. Sapphire group. Ah, uh, what is the default case here? Ruby. Row number. Okay. Emerald. Reminder four is equal to zero. Emerald. 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 Yeah, emerald. That is emerald. Okay, yeah. now you can test. See, okay, you can write in any way. Okay, you can write it any way. You can start from okay, one, two, three, also. Okay, you can start from one, two, three, also. No problem. Is it clear? Uh, sir, sir, can yes, we start with yes, the order, sir? Can we start with the order? Is that okay if we use instead of else at the end? Hello? Yeah. Can we use elif condition instead of writing else condition at the end? Here? Yes. Why elif is required here? No, uh, if we do this uh, task with elif condition, is that okay? Or then you, you should write one more condition, right? If you write elif row number, okay, reminder four is equal to zero. You have to write one more condition. Yes, sir. If you but want to, but use it's elif. not an elif. It's mm, we can use elif. Role. Yeah, divided by four is equal to zero. Sorry, not four, zero. Okay. Yeah, this is also fine. Okay. So here we no need to check uh, with the zero because uh, so here we have four groups. No, we are checking here with the three, two, one, right? So if it is not a three to one, it's a default case is zero only, right? So you can simply write else here. Okay. So you can write uh, like that also, no issue. Okay. Okay. Is it clear? Shall I move to next one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This one. This is uh, some real time scenario. So, if it is not clearly visible, then I will move to PDF. Hello, sir. Uh, are we only here to discuss these practice questions? Yes, sir. Today is only coding. Okay. So, you can just press on that left arrow which is given, then the whole screen of the question will be visible. Yeah, better.
okay did you understand the problem statement yes uh, now you tell me how to go about it so i come to here uh, now you tell me what are the required uh, variables here so how many inputs we required here so two sir two and what are the required variables here Integer. One is backlog, which will okay. be the form. Okay. One is backlogs. Okay. Next, second one is CGPA. 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 Right. Ah, uh, now you tell me. What we have to do? Yeah. So for backlog, we have to take an integer input. Okay. So in this, we this have is after integer, and this is after float. Okay. Yes. So in this question, we, we have to, to uh, put a if condition that if backlog yeah. is if student is selected, okay, if student is selected, then salary offered is equal to five times to his or her CGPA. So five into his CGPA. CGPA. Okay. When when this happen? When student is selected. when the backlog is less than or equal to five and CGP is greater than six. Okay, backlog is less than or less than or is equal five. to five. 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 Next, CGPA is greater than six. Greater than six. 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 Okay, so CGPA should be okay. CGPA Sir, should uh, we be have to use greater method. than six. Yeah, we can write. Uh, in multiple ways so we'll discuss okay we can write in multiple ways okay okay next your backlogs should be at most he should have at most five backlogs means backlogs should be less than or is equal to five okay so first we yes, should write sir. what uh, two inputs backlogs and a cgpa okay backlogs and a cgpa here student is going to select okay if backlogs okay is less than or is equal to 5 and okay and cgpa okay cgpa is should be greater than 6 okay so if student satisfies both these conditions then only he is going to select and his he, he is going to get what package okay five times to his cgpa is it clear? Yes. Okay. So these two conditions should be satisfied. Okay. In order to place yes, the placements. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to write. Okay. Yeah. Now first I'm going to read backlogs. Backlogs is equal to which type? Integer type, right? Input. In, input. Yeah. Next. CGPA. CGPA is equal to float input. Float input. Float input. Now, you tell me. We should print what? CG, oh, sorry. We should print either, okay, what? Not selected or his package. Yeah. Okay. So, if student satisfy these two conditions then he is going to get package okay otherwise we should print water not select selected okay yeah if ah uh, sir can you make the font backlogs sir if backlog is smaller less than, than less than equal to yeah, five like, uh, font size also font size please. Slightly bigger font size. size uh, font size right. with that plus sign. The plus sign, sir. Plus sign. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you. Now it is better. Yeah. Uh, now, if backlogs is less than or is equal to five, five. and 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 CGPA is greater than equal to six. CGPA is greater than six, not equal to. Yeah. First answer, greater than six. Not greater than or equal to six. Okay, so greater than six point zero. 
Okay. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Print. Now print. we should print what? Print. Print. We should print. CGP into five. Five into five times to his CGP. CGP. So CGP. this is his package, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. His package. Yeah. Else. Yes. Print. Uh, else. Not selected. Not selected. So we should print. We should print water. Not, not selected. selected. Not selected. One second. Yeah. Yes. Not selected. Sir, capital S. In not selected capital S. In test cases. Okay. Now I'm going to test run it. See, all cases passed. So this is one way. Okay, this is one way. Now I want to change condition. See, if backlogs is greater than five. R, okay. If backlogs greater than five, or CGPA is less than R is equal to six point zero, okay. So in these two conditions, okay, if he has more than five backlogs, or CGPA is less than R is equal to six. In these two cases, either one, okay. In previous case. Both conditions should be satisfied, but in the in this case, okay, any one of the condition is satisfied, he won't select it, right? Right. So simply here I am writing not selected. Else he will get the package. Okay, he will get the package. See here in previous case, okay, backlogs is less than or is equal to five. And CCPA greater than six point zero. Both conditions should be satisfied in previous case. Now in this case, if he has more than five backlogs, or CCPA is less than or is equal to six point zero. So if any one of these conditions is satisfied, he he will not placed. He not select. He will not selected. Okay. Otherwise, he will get package. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. See. So you can write uh, either way. Okay. You can also oh. interchange with these uh, two conditions. Okay. You can interchange with these two conditions also. your program won't get affected okay next in previous case if ccpa is greater than 6.0 and backlogs should be less than or is equal to 5 then he will get the package else he will not get selected simply i interchange these water conditions See, is there any effect in the test cases? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, problem two is also completed. So, but, now, sir, yeah. But in question, it was clearly mentioned that you have to use end operators because at most five and the CGP. Sentence. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. So I can accept backlogs and the CZPA. What? Uh, above, These above, two. above paragraph. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can use and. Yeah. Okay, and you can also use or. Both the ways. Okay. So I shown. Uh, what is the option? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, now, okay, okay. So please read the statement. So this is uh, looking big now. Can you scroll down a little bit? Sir, please mute everyone, sir. Is there a different test case for tie and a draw? Hello? Am I audible? It's only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are we have I'm in meeting. Yeah. Is there a different test case for a tie and a draw? What is tie? Both are same, no? Tie and draw. So, tie and draw are slightly different. Uh, so. But in test the, match, we have draw only, right? We have, tie. Question. we have tie 1986 Chennai India versus Australia tie. So, but uh, as per our as, as per our question, we don't have anything called tie. That's all. That's what yeah, I wanted to yeah. just confirm. That's all. Yes, yes, yes. So, for this question, we have to take eight inputs. Okay. Okay, uh, shall we start coding? Did you understand the problem statement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes, sir. So please explain the problem statement yeah, yeah, once. I do. I do. Especially the second yeah, part. Yeah. See here. Here we have, okay, so two teams, team A and team B. Okay, so here we are going to read eight inputs. Okay. So first four inputs represents, okay, scores of team A, okay. First four inputs represents what? Uh, scores of team A and the next eight, uh, four inputs represents scores of team B, okay. Team A and uh, team B. So based on these scores, we should, okay, we should tell which team has won the match, okay. We, we should tell which team has won the match, either team A or team B, or whether it is draw. Okay. okay. Uh, now, see, first column represent scores, means runs. Okay. And the second column represents wickets. Okay. Wickets. So here, like this, one, three, five, and seven. Okay. So these columns represents what scores of team A and team B. Team B. So one and a third. Okay. These two okay are runs of what team A. And the five yeah. seven columns represents runs of team, team B. B. Okay. Team B. Okay. And team B. Ah. Now you should okay. You should add this. Column 1 and 3 and 5 and 7. Okay. So runs of team A you should add. And runs of team B you should add in first innings and second innings. Okay. Ah, now you should add 120 and 210. Okay. 120 plus 210. Ah, next 115, 115 plus 189. Ah, 189. Ah, now you tell me. Ah, 120 plus 210. How much? 330. 330. Ah, next. 115 plus 189. 309. 305. 304 or 5? 304. 304, sir. 304. Ah, 304. Okay. So here, if team B is less than, okay, team B runs is less than, Okay, three not four. Sorry, team B runs 
then we should check number of wickets in the second innings number of wickets in the second innings okay could you please because, repeat again if team b or run is less then we should okay team b runs is less than sorry yeah less than team a runs okay okay team a runs we should check wickets of team b okay okay so if team b okay lost all wickets lost all wickets then only team a won the match because okay. so after 5 days if team b okay not lost all wickets then match become draw am i right okay so there will be three conditions in this yeah. questions we have to check yeah or so three here, steps three steps would be there team a runs is less than team sorry b. team a team runs a. is greater than then team b team b runs okay team b okay. runs in this case okay if team a runs is greater than team b runs then we should check team b wickets also so team b wickets should be 10 okay team b wickets in second innings not first innings in second innings should be 10 then only team a won the match okay for suppose team b okay team b runs is greater than team a then we no need to check wickets of team a okay we no need to check wickets of team a why because already okay so they finish their innings okay they finish their innings here we no need to consider the wickets of team a in first innings and the second innings okay we no need to consider wickets of team a in first innings and the second innings only we should consider the runs of team a in first innings and the second innings so if team b okay runs is greater than okay is greater than team a directly we can say team a okay sorry team b is the winner for suppose if team b sorry team a runs is greater than team b runs okay team b runs okay here in second innings b should last all 10 wickets then only team a get the victory is it clear yes sir yes okay. sir then only team a gets the victory okay okay shall we start the coding now yes sir yes sir okay so totally here you tell me how many number of variables are required eight eight right yeah so need to start sir uh, can we use list here i mean list yeah uh, but uh, in we list is not uh, useful we don't have list is not useful here we need eight variables yeah yeah no and even the concept of list is not yet in week 2 yeah see here that's a separate thing but list should not be used here my opinion yeah so please uh, leave about a list here only we should uh, focus on this uh, control shift okay so see here a yeah, team sir, a please expand the screen sir please expand the screen screen i'm not getting uh please explain what no no screen only sir expand the screen sir, expand, oh, the, expand screen the screen, the screen. Increase, okay yeah okay. increase the font size also yeah yeah it is clear now oh yes sir okay now team a first innings runs okay first innings runs is equal to input ah uh, now you tell me input is of type what integer okay am i right so integer yeah integer okay next copy paste so a1 wickets means Team A first innings wickets. Is it clear for everyone? Yes. Okay. Next. 
Team A second innings runs. Team A second innings wickets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. Team B. Team B first innings runs. Team B first innings wickets. Copy. Yes. B two. Team B second innings runs. Team B second innings wickets. Yes. Uh, now, you tell me how to decide whether Team A has won the match. A one underscore runs plus A two underscore runs. A one underscore runs. We should go for big. If we go A2, for big, okay. A two underscore well, runs. Can we we uh, use another variable for A one and A two runs? A one and uh, A two runs, sir. Ah, uh, you can also write like that. If it will be hmm. easy, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So simply A runs, right? A total okay. runs. Is it is it okay? A total runs is equal to okay. Team A first innings runs plus plus second innings. Team A second innings runs runs. Yeah. Now B total runs. Team B total runs. B one first innings runs plus. B to second innings runs. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, now A total runs. Runs greater than greater B than B total runs. Ah, uh, B total runs. And okay. B, B total runs. And B two uh, underscore wickets equals to yes. ten. Yes. Equal to equal to ten. And uh, B two underscore wickets. Yeah, B two underscore wickets. B two underscore wickets is equal to equals equals ten. Yes. Yeah. Then then team A. Print team A. One second. I should check this test cases. Okay. Team A, right? Yeah. Okay. Team A. Simple. Team A, okay. Team A. Else if, uh, else if. Uh, B total B, runs. B total runs. Greater than A total greater runs. Greater than A total runs. runs. Uh, then. Then print team B. Uh, here we no need to check. Uh, Wickets of team A. Okay. Yeah, team, team playing A. second. If it scores more than run, then wicket must not be on ah, ten. Ah, ah. Yeah. Else, Else, what is the default case? Uh, draw. Print draw. Print draw. Right. E all so, caps. All caps. Yeah. But sir, for draw we have one more condition, no? That if A total run is greater than B total run, but B to wicket is not equal to ten, then also yes, there that is that is that is you are checking here, right? Yes. Okay. okay. You are uh, filtering here only, right? Okay. Sir, please move the sir, sir. No, no, sir. Actually, we missed one condition. Sir. No, yes, nothing is missed. One 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 if one. only uh, if the wickets of a team B are not equal to ten. See, yes, sir, already please. we are checking here, right? If it is equal to ten, then this block will be executed. Other in all other cases, no, it no, is that's not. That's not the case. See here, no. see here. End condition we are using, right? Both the conditions is true. Then only, right? It will come to here. Sir, uh, if sir, sir, line, line number eleven did not get executed. Then it will not check for LF. It will directly go to no, LF. It will. Uh, so if if line number eleven will not be executed, then everything will be executed in the LF option. So if team A and LF. team B has same number of scores, okay, both are being checked. Okay, sir. Yeah. So for drawing the match, team B or so we can use LF, LF condition to the first condition. Here. Ah, what is the it's condition you want to write? Yeah, it's working. Ah, 
Now tell me, what is the condition you want to write? Wait a second. What we have to write? I am asking, what you want to write here? Scored by scored none by A. Total scored. What you take? B total score. Okay. Total is equal to equal to B B total runs. Okay. One second. A and B equal. Ah. Okay. So it's both side. You take B. One side is A. Oh, you are comparing both B total runs only. So B total oh, runs oh, okay, equals okay, equals okay, side okay. total. Sorry, sir. That's yeah, yeah. O R R O B eight B eight. आपने क्या किया है नेम? So he. What you taking uh, most uh, wickets most by team B? What you take away? B two wickets. B two wickets. Okay, B two wickets is not equal to ten. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. B two wickets is not equal. Yeah. Not equals to ten. Yeah, it's money. Uh huh. That's what. Mm -hmm. This will work. Yeah, it's uh, working. So now, simply. I will remove this one. Let's yeah. see what happened. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will also work. Okay. Okay, then it also work. But sir, how? I mean, second condition. See here. See here. This you don't need to worry about it. Yeah. Actually, yeah. here only you are uh, uh, checking, right? So B two wickets is equal to ten. Okay. So here only you are filtering. Here no need of uh, extra condition here actually. So here, if both the conditions is satisfied, then only it will print team A. If both the conditions is satisfied, then only it will print team A has won the match. You no need to write extra condition here. If you want to write, you can write it. See, otherwise also there can only be two possibilities: either team A wins or team B wins. If none of the them Won the match, then obviously it was a draw. So this is yeah. that simple. Yeah, default case, default case. Okay. Sir, so what mean? about the condition of team A uh, need not be taken all wickets only for uh, B two it is necessary. Ah uh ha, -huh. yeah, it's a good question. So anybody want to answer uh, for this question? Those who know very well about cricket. Uh, yeah. Sir, what is the question? Can you repeat the question? No, if if uh, no, so the let's let's go by let's go by what it is written there. So team A batted first, so it scored some runs in first inning and lost some wicket in first inning. Then the score of team B will be of first inning score because that's how the cricket match is played. However, the number is entered in serial, but it will be like first inning of team A. Then first inning of team B, then second inning of team A, and then second inning of team B. If second inning score of team B is more than second inning score of team A, then you know that team B would have won by the logic of cricket match. That I mean, team B can only score more runs in second inning if and only if it has not lost all the wickets. Okay, okay, yes, clear. Yes. They, they are chasing the runs. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Okay, okay. Thank you. Sir, you kept in uh, semicolons after nine and ten uh, lines. Is it okay? Where? Where? Nine and ten lines. Nine and ten lines. You kept uh -huh. semicolons. Actually, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, not Python is not rude in this case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in our Java also we are using <laughs> semicolons. That's why. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay. So, shall I move to next one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, this is very interesting, right? Two point three. Two point four is more interesting. 
Yeah, very. <laughs> yeah, see. So take uh, five minutes time to understand this problem statement. Sir, meanwhile, I have a doubt. Can I ask you, sir, please? Yeah. Uh, sir, in uh, week two, uh, PPA eight. Okay. Uh, so, can you just help me out, sir? I have uh, arrived to a logic. So, just can you please discuss with that? Okay. Uh, so, after uh, completion of this program, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After completion of this. Sir, these questions are based on only week two, na? Yeah, yeah, yes. So what is J here? Hello. What is J here? I mean, what? Just a hypothetical value. Like um, we let's assume. If I is V one, then J will be V two. Oh, okay. If I is V two, then J will be V three. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Okay, so did you understand the problem statement? No, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah. So 
do you want uh, some time so if anybody understand uh, you can go ahead so not getting the idea uh, प्रॉब्लम से that is my question sir problem statement i understood it like uh, yeah yeah i am uh, asking this yeah i will i will hear now so i let you know how to go about it uh, first tell me how to sorry uh, what is the idea what is sir, the idea, idea is uh, we have to take an input uh, that input will be a string and in that string we have to ensure that Simply all the can i say like word that. yes sir can i say like word Yes, sir. Word, word is, is equal, equal to, to input. 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 We no need to convert it into any other format, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is by default string. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Uh, now, now we have to check that all the vowels, all the five vowels, are present in this word. So here, first we have to check whether it is perfect word or okay, not perfect word. Okay, whether it is perfect or not perfect. So based on these conditions okay based on these conditions what is the first condition uh, whether the vowel uh, is present or not hmm. first okay here the word contains all vowels okay what are the vowels a e, e i, I o, o u okay u. yeah so this word should contain all of these characters okay all of right. these characters okay yeah now a a i e o uh, now you tell me this is perfect word or not no sir i can't do this it should be in this lexical order. order sir that means a e i o u lexical no, sir, order right? what yes, should sir. be present yeah a a e okay i o u and uh, now you tell me yes, yes sir yes, it is yeah. yes, sir. it is yeah. perfect word yes yeah. till now uh, no sir this one it is not no, no sir. sir no sir second no, sir. condition Why? because it is not a is there e is there i is there o is but there it is not in lexical order so number of a, sir but the number of second condition greater than number of e number greater than number of i greater than number of o yes the vowel the, the second condition Here, according to this first condition so according to this first condition it is okay it contains all the vowels so can we use the idea of a list here but i don't know if it's important or not so please uh, okay ignore list in this week okay, okay. Well, from ct yeah. i remember that but <laughs> let's see here uh, excuse yeah. me sir now ah uh, yeah yeah go ahead yeah, go ahead the the vowels should be in lexical order right Mm -hmm. oh that okay thank yeah. you so much sir. see these are in lexical order only a e i o u but see here count of a okay count of a should be okay should be greater than or is equal to e and count of e should be greater than or is equal to i and count of i should be greater than or is equal to o sorry greater than or is equal to o and count of o should be greater than or is equal to u this is the condition so according to this one see count of i a is less than j okay v i should be greater than or equal to count of v j is it clear this one count of a should be greater than or is equal to e and the count of e should be greater than or is equal to count of i and the count of i is greater than or is equal to count of o and the count of o is greater than or is equal to count of e then only it is perfect number first your word should contain a e i o u 
all what up, alphabets okay next this alphabets should be in which order lexical order okay here e should come after a and i should come after e next o should come after e sorry o should come after o. i only okay and uh, you should come after what o. o o that is that is the second condition okay next what is the next condition so here count of okay count of first a is should be greater than or is equal to e and uh, next second one is e e should be e, e count should be greater than or is equal to i next I i count should be greater than or is equal to o, o count. and o count should be greater than or is equal to u this is the next condition total how many conditions three conditions should be satisfied so first condition is the word should contain all alphabets and the alphabets should be lexical order lexical order and in lexical order okay so the ovals count okay ovals count should be sir can you repeat the second condition again next oval hello sir yeah. can you repeat the second condition again this one uh, no 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 uh, second one in second one second yeah in second one second right yeah, yeah. Uh, no 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 uh, second condition i mean this second one he second. means to say first one second one first okay one. this one right yeah 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 hmm. yeah so here a e i o should be in lexical order lexical mm -hmm. order means e should be come after a and okay. i should come after e and lexical order means come, dictionary yeah. order na yeah, 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 yeah alphabetical yeah. order yeah, alphabetical order simply okay 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 now uh, this problem statement is clear i hope uh, yeah, so yeah. if there is any constant between these vowels uh, is then it is not perfect number okay so here only we are eliminating okay so we can say by using this first condition only we are telling that that is not perfect number so that should contain what a e i o u then only okay we should go we should we are going to check whether they are is in they are in lexical order or not and we are going to check their count sir if the second occurrence of the letter is not in lexical order let's say a comes and after that e comes but after that again a comes so like no, no, consider... that should not happen that should not happen that, then also it is uh, see here a sir e should come after a next i should come after a e only okay means after, all yeah before, before. all next, a comes before everything else yeah 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 okay next o should come after a e i only so if it is come here then it is not perfect okay okay sir sir if, if it, it is sir if it is possible uh, tell us how to remove the duplicates in uh, in the string also sir if it is possible duplicate yeah, like we can, yeah we can remove okay so that is a different uh, idea okay uh, but if it that is possible please explain in this problem sir yeah we'll see okay so now uh, whether it is clear or not problem statement yes, it is sir. clear yes, got it, yes, sir. Sir. yeah hmm. now i'm going to explain how to go about it so first if you want to check whether particular character is present in the okay particular character is present in the given word or not by using okay by using in okay in is an operator so by using this in operator we can check whether given character is character or word sorry character or string is present in the okay given word or okay given word or not for suppose here what we are going to read now the in this word whether a is present in the given word or not how to check simply a in word that's it a in word 
next i want to check whether e is present in the word or not how to check a in word a in word next o in word like this we have to check okay whether all vowels are present in the what word or not uh, can we not use and statement between these yes we should use right we should use and statement because all should be present okay all should be present okay yeah how to write the okay condition i'm going to take note back first i want to go okay step by step okay yeah now you tell me so simply so i'm writing right. word is equal to first take input input so this is my word dot lawyer uh, in lawyer case now, it's so yeah if yeah lawyer case only yeah 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 in your dot case is, uh, now you tell me how to check whether a is present in the given word or not if, if a in I, a word a in word a in word a in, in, in word and e in word Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, can you, uh, in we can use, you know, we can use yeah, yeah. we can uh, directly use and e and, and, uh, e and, e and this one o and this one and this one you are talking about and no 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 sir what we can use as the last yeah 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 right so word is last i'm not getting uh, what you are that uh, we said e i o u e and i and o and u e word yes sir okay yeah. okay okay yeah 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 is it possible look at the chat okay okay so no sir if you write like that so if you write like that but suppose but suppose my string is triple a e i o u uh, now you tell me whether it is it's working or not it is working with that it, it will uh, work it will work yeah it's working actually it will work yeah even you yeah. don't have to use the and statement as well okay 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 then we can use like that also okay. so we'll check in both the ways okay so as of now we'll check okay uh, one by one and after that whatever uh, you suggested will will go for that also okay yeah. a e i a e i o okay is it clear yeah so this is only for first condition right yes sir this is only for first okay. condition okay so here whether your word contain all alphabets or not okay we should check like this okay so you so have taken in this after o in word and you forget to use and where after o in word okay okay yeah hmm. now if this condition is satisfied ah uh, now we should check okay second condition what is the second condition so here index of okay index of a should be okay index of a should be ah uh, you tell me lexical order no hmm. yes sir. index of yeah, yeah. yeah index of a less should than. be less than less i than. right yes, so less than than index of a should be less than i and index of i should be less than index o. of index of o ah the next index of o should be what less, less than, than, less than, than u. u index like of that. u yeah 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 ah now you tell me how to write that. okay word yes. of zero yeah not word of zero simply no, 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 we should get like the that. yeah we should get the index of Okay. Word dot index. The index of then a word. from the word. Okay. So word dot index. Index is a predefined index vector. Of, yeah. yeah. Index of a. Okay. 
the index of A should be what? Less than. Less than. Uh, less than. Yeah. Order index of E. E. So yeah. order yeah. should be less than index of I. Less than index of O. Less than index of O. Yeah. O. And it should be as the index of. Is it clear for everyone? Yes, sir. As per, uh, what is it about the first appearance? Like if we have more A's and E's, like it is asking for the first appearance. Yeah. All yeah. A's this this like map can only get you know, e, 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 right, yes, right. hmm. This method only Please. gives the first appearance. Only. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Hmm. Here only we are filtering whether it is following lexical order or not. But sir, it's okay. not in the lexical order then. If, if the word is A, E, A, I, O, U, yeah. and according to this program, it will be in lexical order, but it's not in lexical order. I'm not getting. Uh, can you repeat once? Okay, so if let's e. say a word is A, E, A, I, O, U, it has a, all the E, e A, A, I, I o, o, U. Yeah. Yeah. No, but the index function will find the first, first you know, appearance, first, first appearance first of the yeah. word, and uh, that way it will, it will never find the, the second one. one. Yeah, it wants only works only once. Yeah. Next. Lexical order should correspond to first appearance. Huh? No. Yeah. Okay, okay. The index function works for first appearance. Okay, okay. So index uh, function works for only first, uh, only first appearance. appearance, right? Okay. So we'll so check. We'll check. Okay. We can filter it in next step. Yeah. Word dot count of a is less than word dot count of c. Uh, if uh, next one we should check the count. Okay. So count of a should be what greater than or is equal to count of e right e, e. e. Uh, now you tell me word dot count, 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 count of, of okay. sir, e. sir you missed the semi semicolon sir here no, i am writing roughly okay is greater than or is equal to uh, word dot count of b For that count of B. E. Uh, e. E. Sorry. E. Not B. Sir, it no. will be E, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. I. Right? O and E. O. And. Better than is equal to. U. So, if. Okay. Your word satisfies all these conditions. Then only your word is what? Perfect. Your word is perfect number, right? So simply here, uh, I'm taking one temporary variable like present is equal to false. Okay, present is equal to false. Now, if your word contain, uh, satisfies all these conditions, simply I'm writing present okay, is, equal to is equal to true. true. Okay, present is equal to okay yeah now okay now if present if present means if present value is true then what is uh, what is the meaning of uh, if present Print. what is the meaning of true present it is perfect so simply we should print okay here what so it is a perfect number it is a perfect word yeah perfect sorry word number so perfect word okay. else means yeah. false else, right it is not a perfect word yeah now we should bring this not a perfect word print 
not a perfect okay so this is the idea okay yeah now we'll write directly in the portal okay now please help me okay so sir, write the sir i have a doubt sir yeah please sir, go ahead how to improve the flag function so basically i am able to understand which one the which flag one flag that is you felt present is equal to false sorry i am not able to hear you properly so basically so which? flag function so flag we use the flag is equal to true or false like here we have used present so how so this is not a function though this this is variable right okay. yeah it's not a function this is not a variable oh, sorry this is not function this is variable yes sir sir so i boolean variable simply we can say this is boolean variable right okay yeah yeah please help me first i am going to read what now what uh, now first what we have to check whether all okay alphabets present in the given word or not word or not yes sir yeah how to check a in a, a, a in word so you don't have to do okay. like in you can just omit all of these things and yeah yeah we'll do we'll do we'll do one okay. time both okay. the case okay and e and i and i when you and and you okay. yeah next next what we have to check next index of a should be less than index of e and index e. of e should e be should less be than less. yeah I. right now you don't know उंडे Harshvi, please mute yourself. Sir, this, sir, this condition means uh, after e, a should not appear, sir. Hold on, we will be coming. Yeah, back. yeah, yeah. Here, index of okay. index of a means so this is where a is present in the word okay where a is present in the word okay so here a should not be appear after sorry e should not appear after a for e now after a sorry not not so here e should, e should not, not appear. appear before a e should not appear before a Sir, but uh, if A is present multiple times and then uh, then it, at first it appears in the first position before E and then after that also it appears then then it is not perfect number. Then it has to appear also in the lexical order. Ah yes, lexical order only it should appear. If it is appear multiple times, okay that uh, then that time also that should be in lexical order. Okay, for suppose as you said. So, a a e e i o u. This is okay. But as you said, so like this, it is not perfect. Yes, sir. But uh, the index function will only return the first position of a, right? We'll check. We'll check. Okay. I guess uh, it will return uh, last index. So we'll check. Yeah. Now. Ah, uh, next. Step. What is the second condition? Ah, uh, in second condition we have one more condition. 
simply is condition b what is the condition b what is the condition b count of a should be less than greater than or equal to count of b word dot count is greater than or is equal to how is greater than or is equal to sorry word dot count of word dot count of a is greater than or equal to e yes greater than or equal to i and I ah. O greater than or is equal to U. Then yeah, here uh, we suppose we have to take one temporary variable, right? Present is equal to false. Is equal to false. Okay. Now, present is equal to true. Yeah. Now, yeah. If, if present, 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 ah, uh, if present, Print, uh, what it is mean? It's perfect. It is perfect. Print, it is a perfect word. It is a perfect, yeah. is a perfect yeah. word. Is a perfect perfect word. Else, else print, it is not a perfect word. It is not a perfect word. Okay. Now. I want to sir, I have a doubt. Uh, why we yeah, yeah. use Go this ahead. billion statement? Which statement? Yeah, sir, no full stop. Uh, full stop directly. is not there in the test cases, sir. Yeah, yeah. Simply we can remove this. Yeah, okay. Ah, what is your doubt? No, no. Uh, uh, can we not use this boolean uh, statement that is present equal to false? We can write directly in uh, here uh, that a print equal to yeah 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 yes that yes is a better. you can write yeah you can write directly print statement here and uh, for this uh, outer if you should write corresponding else statement simply yeah. write uh, yeah yeah please write in this way because uh, I am confused about that okay we will try in both okay as of now please uh, let it be sir can you explain line seven sir? Okay, I will explain. Sir, can we use and? Uh, sir, I got an idea. Like uh, we are using that if a in word and a in uh, e in word, but in the third condition we are counting. Uh, can we just uh, bring a last condition is greater than equal to zero, and uh, it will all uh, uh, eliminate the condition that we have put in the line three itself. What is greater than or is equal to zero? Sir, I am saying just that we first line mein condition rakhi hai a in word, e in word, or we third uh, uh, in fifth line we are doing counting the word ki bhai a character word mein kitni bari aaya hai. So we puri ki puri jo hamari fifth wali condition hai, uspe greater than equal to zero laga de. So hamari third wali condition, uh, third line ki condition nahi lagani padegi. Oh, okay. he is asking but, to uh, combine yeah, the yeah, condition. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Your, I got your point. So yeah, that is also possible. But uh, as per our uh, problem statement, I written the code. Okay. Okay. Sir. Yeah. yeah, it is as good for the beginners that. to understand this. Yes. Uh, I also yes. got the idea of, uh, after watching the whole the code, not before. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. So this is uh, passing all the test cases, right? See, I have test run it. Uh, now, uh, so line so seven can you explain. Sir? Line number seven. Yeah. Yeah. See here, if you are okay, if you are word satisfy all the conditions, then you are okay. Present variable become true, right? Yes, sir. True. So if 
here present if your present uh, word is perfect then present value become true so if present means if present value is true then it will execute this if statement if present value false means when present value become false if your word is not perfect if your word is not perfect present value not become true okay its value remains false so if false means okay so if block will not be executed simply by ignoring this if statement it will come to the else block and it will display that it is not a perfect word. okay sir. so it will check the flag condition sir for yeah, the variable yeah. present mm -hmm. okay sir. okay somebody to a confusion can we say if present equal to equal to true how no need actually You can use and operator na instead of nested statement if we want. Yeah, you can try. Yeah, I. Sir, small request, sir. Please uh, mute everyone, mic, sir. Those who are not answering, sir. It's very uh -huh. annoying, sir. Guys, please uh, mute your mic once you answer uh, or reply of the question, right? Yeah, this is also working. See. That yeah, is giving is only valid. four out of five uh, private cases. What is? So you have to submit for the um, yeah. Oh. To check for the test cases, private test cases. Okay. You see. Four. Okay. One of one. one of but sir, my test cases. Of my five out five out of five passed. For the same code. No, I use and operator instead of nested. So we have to write as. So we need to write it more times. They corresponding to each if. Hello. Hello. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. So for the second line, you'll have to check your counter else part for this because you're just printing. It's a nested uh, uh, if statement. Sir, uh, after submitting, only four cases are sent. Four cases? Private cases. Four private cases are passed. One is answered. Sir, we have to write an else statement for each of the corresponding if statement. For line four, you need an else statement again, and for this. So if you want, then can I can share my line three now. here, here, else. What we have to write here? Why we need it? Yeah. Yes, yes, y yes, sir. This it condition is not, is not satisfied. So use a flag, okay. sir. Rather than using print statement again and again, use a flag. Yeah. Have we studied flag uh, flag concept in week two? Okay, flag is just a name for a variable a that variable. we use for yeah. Just a fancy name of calling a variable using for these cases. Okay. False and here. Yes. Is it equal to? Yes. Flag variable. Now we do not need to write this else. Sir. You can cut it. Okay. Sir, is it necessary? Simply. So yes, previously, how we written? Say right. So if present or else, we should write it. And uh, for if print this. Now it will work. Still four out of five. No, these are uh, just click submit now. Yeah, yeah, I'm clicking. Yeah, five out of five. 
the difference between yeah. flag statement and without using flag statement what is the difference sir? for uh, for the nested ifs if the condition was not satisfied we were not yeah. printing anything only mid, outside yeah the middle yeah. condition is not satisfied yeah for suppose middle condition is not satisfied it won't come to present right yes sir yeah so that is the idea a better way would be instead of using this true false you can just write those values there sir difference between the code of using flag and without using flag sir what's the difference between using flag and not using flag okay there is no difference there is no difference but if you don't use this flag so you should write corresponding else statement for every if condition Which will increase the length of the code. Yeah, it will increase the line line of code. That's it. So if you don't use this, uh, okay, present variable, then you should write corresponding else statement for this, and corresponding else statement for this if, and corresponding else statement for this if also. Then it will increase uh, number. See, uh, in this code, we only use the else statement for while statement. Hello. हेलो या हेलो राइट Yes, so every other condition. Yeah. After yeah. Condition. It's a middle condition. Middle no, condition. So can we can we just the lexical thing now? What we can do uh, on the line one, maybe shift that line one down and add a input statement there. And no, no, not this here, sir. Right? Not here. No, 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 not this one. Not this one. Yeah. Uh, on the line one, just uh, assign. Yeah. You should remove this input, please. Okay, I. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hard code this value now. A E A I O U. A E A. A no, 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 no. Yes, A E A. A. I O U. Now, because it will throw an error, so why not just add a input statement above, just input, so that it can execute. Okay, now you want to execute it, right? Um, some sort of. Mm. Yeah, no. So it's a it's a perfect word, but it should not be a perfect word, right? So it means lexical thing doesn't work if there are multiple values of a vowel. How are you saying that to me? That you can show because uh, we have hard coded the value a e a i o u. No, no, no but, saying, no, no, but, but you should not hard okay. code, right? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm I'm not talking about that. We can also copy this code in somewhere and in input. Our, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that, but that's the way we can also do. No, we don't have the like such a thing in the test case. Yeah, that's, that's what I was. Uh, yeah, sorry, that's what I was asking is... before. Like, uh, is it necessary uh, for every word to be in a lexical order? But like, sir, here we can't give the input, right? The input must. Uh, we can. We can. There is a way. Yeah, you can. You know, redirect the output. Or you may. You can kill the out uh, input. Yeah. Instead of using that and one second, hard code. One second. Already, I have uh, typed this uh, program in oh, Rapid also. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So prop statement four, right? Um. A E A I V, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see. It says it's a perfect word, but according to the definition, it should not be a perfect word. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, in test cases, we not given any value like this. Yeah, there, are, there are some. Uh, but uh, the conditions. Uh, for yeah. for here, it will run out. But uh, we a, don't know uh, about the private cases. A should also 
why this is not a perfect word hello hello why this is not a perfect word because, because uh, a, a appears here a, uh, here uh, a e should not be appear before In the a. question itself it is mentioned the first step yeah. is they are counting okay. if you read the second list, sir, according oh. to the question okay my bad yeah it was so mentioned I that it then the first perfect. appearance of vi in the word okay. should come up before the first yeah my bad my bad i'm sorry Yeah, here it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All A's before E and all E's before I. Then how could this be? Okay, okay. Yeah, then there's also a fancy way of solving this problem. We don't have to do so much thing then. I've done a fancy way, but that might not work now because I've done some changes in it. But it should look something like that. I'll just share the code. Okay. Okay. Uh. It is clear, right? Yes, sir. Thank you this so much. But Puneet, this is not uh, checking the condition that A should. It is. It is that A E I O U. It's uh, behaving like a regex th thing, and it's doing oh. it at at its own. Okay, so so this can check the order, like in this order version. Yeah. Yeah. Order. Yes. Yes. Okay, I got it. Oh. But it it won't work if uh, if we feed the word like A E A I O U. It won't work then. Some some sort of problems. Uh, sir, I thought before moving to this program, I had asked you about the uh, one which was uh, from week two, the practice programming assignment. Let him finish this last question, no? Then I think we, we this is the last. No, question. no. By the time we finish the last question, it will be time out. So, sir, just to mention, you know, there used to be, really to be a mentor session from Monday. Oh, oh, not from Monday, from Tuesday to Friday. You can join them. It's between five p.m. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I got that, right? and I have so, a mentor will be following that. It is not like that. Yeah, I have a clue on that. So just I wanted to check with there is there another way where we can approach that problem. That is what my question was. It's okay if you if all of you want to continue with this, there is no problem. I just do this. No, no, you can ask that problem. We have a that class also, uh, Vishali. Uh, we have a class. Yeah, that's class, right. uh, Yeah, because the class gets class over by seven o'clock. So just uh, I want a small hint. So yeah, so we have requested in the other session only. That there is a different meetup, classroom meetup. You you must have got email. You can join there and discuss that question. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So shall we move to this the last question? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. Okay. We are left with certain PPA questions. So will we we continue then, or just close the session after this? So after this, uh, we can. Let's see if the time is left. Let's yeah, this yeah. And I have one uh, next session also. That's why. You know, all those people uh, who are having some doubts in PPAs can come in the mentoring session. They are from Tuesday to Friday every day. Did you understand the problem, sir? Yes, sir. We understood. Ah, okay. Now you tell me. So. So we have to take four integers as input. Sir, non decreasing means increasing or random anything. Yeah, increasing. No, no, no. Decreasing order. The non decreasing, decreasing. it's non decreasing. Ah, oh, sorry, non decreasing. Simply ascending order, right? Yeah. So accept four 
integers as input and write a program to print these integers in non decreasing order okay so here simply ascending order yeah now you tell me here i am going to read four integers a b c d okay so here we should print a b c d in non decreasing order means non decreasing order means lowest value should be print first right among these four lowest value for suppose a is lowest value after a b is the lowest value and after b c is the lowest value and after c d is the lowest value then we should write a b c d like this. okay this is the possibility next for suppose for suppose a is the lowest value among b c d okay among b c d okay so if you compare a with b c d a is the lowest value then we should write a first okay next b c d right ah uh, now we should okay we should check check among b c d which one is the okay lowest value right b c d we should check among b c d which is the lowest value we should write after a next after writing okay second lowest value we should check remaining two which one is the lowest value okay next we are going to write okay lowest value among these two like that we should write okay see here a b c t there are four integers okay among these four integers first check this first variable with remaining three variables if this first variable is okay if this first variable is okay less than among all these variables okay this is the lowest number okay this should come first next okay among this b c d among this b c b c d so which one is the lowest value that value should come after a okay so here for suppose b is less than c and d so we should write b after a next we should check okay which one is the lowest value among c and d for suppose c is the lowest value okay in among c and d we should write okay c after b next to d like this this is only one possibility okay like this we should write remaining all possibilities okay uh, can you tell me all remaining possibilities oh, four factorial ways sir ah uh, ah uh, 24 right 24 it's, yeah 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 tell me so first a b c d okay a b c d next a a b a, c d a, a c b c b d d c okay a b d c ah uh, next a a c b d next a c d b next a d b b c next a d b c e b b okay this is only for a if a is lowest number among remaining all b c d ah now you tell me for b you tell me for b Six conditions. Next to B C D E. Next to B B B E B. Sorry, sorry. B D E C. Next to B D C E. I hope it is clear, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. For few, for C C C E 
A. B. 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 Yeah. C. C. A. A. D. B. D. B. C. C. A. B. C. B. A. B. B. Next. C. B. B. D. A. A. Next. C. C. D. A. B. A. B. Yeah. C. D. B. A. A. Okay. Ah. Now for D. D. A. A. C. C. Sorry. D. A. B. C. Okay. D. A. B. C. Ah. D. D. A. C. B. B. Next. D. B. C. A. C. Yes. Sorry. D. B. A. C. Next. D. 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 C. A. Next. D. D. C. A. B. D. C. B. So we have to check of of on conditions. All conditions we have to check. In order to pass all the test cases. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, now. How Is there any other way, sir? Is there any other way? No. At for uh, week two, so we have to check all the conditions. So uh, actually, I have done something. If I can show. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Yeah. You can also share that one. But before that, uh, so we should uh, write like this. According uh, as per our problem statement and. Uh, In order to pass all the test cases, okay. Sir, so, uh, uh, using uh, if else block itself in CT uh, week one, a uh, uh, diagram, a uh, flow chart is given which we can apply here, Philly. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Yes, we can apply. Okay. So now I want to write. So, so please help me. Okay. Sh please shall I just me. just a second? uh i have a doubt okay yeah see the question says uh non decreasing isn't it yeah so non decreasing doesn't necessarily mean ascending i mean should i interpret that also i'm, I'm just asking you because even i had this doubt in my mind like uh -huh. non decreasing may not be Necessarily, yes. Because here, yeah. Not being yeah. systematic ascending, ma'am. Not strictly ascending. So all those twenty-four uh, cases may not be needed if that's the case. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Now, only thing is not decreasing, not ascending. Just smallest and just put it on the last. Uh, right. Yes, yes, you are right. Okay. So, so I mean, I don't get it. What is it? Hello. I'm saying that it is said as saying non-decreasing order. So yes. We yes. just uh, we just need to uh, find a number which is greater enough and just put that number at the last. Huh. The output should match with the test cases. No, if the output does not match with the test cases. Yeah, then we will know. Yeah, correct. Uh, by know. by the statement given in question, we can do that, but uh, the test case issue will be present. Yeah, we should run the test case. Yeah, what if all the numbers are distinct? Yeah, no problem. That is also we have right. So we'll write according to that only. So we need so, to use less than or equal to right, sir. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. Less than or equal to we should use. Okay, we should use less than or is equal. To. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to read all four. Integers. So please help me. Okay. Copy. Yes. Okay. B. C. And D. Yeah. Now. Game starts now. Yeah. Now. See this one. This one. You tell. If we want to print, okay. Given input values in this order, okay. So what is the condition? Here, a, a should be yeah, a should be less than or is equal to B, B. C, D, and B should be less than or is equal to 
C and D. And C should be less than or is equal to D. Right? Less than or is equal to D. Yes, sir. Okay? Yeah. Now, what I'm doing is, if A is less than or is equal to B. Less than or equal to. Okay? Less than or is equal to. And, okay? A is less than or is equal to C. And, okay? So, we and can write A is less than or is equal to no, sir. B. We so can write them directly, like sir. Less than equal to less than equal to like that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Sorry, he's just checking if A is less than all uh, all other or not. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. So here we are checking whether A is okay less than or is equal to all remaining number, all remaining B, C, D. If it is okay less than or is equal to okay. B, C, D. Ah, next. We have to check which is the okay lowest number of the B, C, D. A. Ah, among B, C, D. Yeah. How to check? If, if here I am checking B with C less and than D. equal to C and, and B less B than equal is to D. Less than R is equal to D. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. For suppose B is less than or is equal to c and d for suppose then we should check lowest number among c and d am i correct yes yes, yes. yes. So if c yes. is less than or equal to d uh, says less than r is equal to d, d. Uh, then what is the printing, printing? A, printing. A, a comma a, b comma c, b comma, c comma d, d. right so the last thing you use Okay, for suppose, for suppose, here, A is less than uh, B, can, C, can D. we use these three uh, statements, each statements together, like by adding A, like A less than equal to B and B less so than equal to we add else statement now, no? Else statement will make for another case. No. Ah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we should go for it. So, if and only if this condition is satisfied, then only we should go for it, right? See here. Sir, we we have to write 24 lines. So, in line 5 only, uh, A less than B, less than C, less than or equal to D. Uh, can we write, sir, like that? Can't we write like that? Yes, sir. A less than equal to B and then B less than equal to C. Less than equal to C, less than yeah, equal to D. That is for like exact 24 statements, right? Yeah, 24 lines. Because here we write around 5 lines. 24 we are talking about, sir. A less than equal to B, less than equal to C, less than equal to D. So 24 if statements, right? Yes, and yes. for this you have to write 72 if statements, right? Yeah, 24 into 4 times. Oh, 96. No, yeah. it will not be 4 times. No, there will be else statement also, no? Can we do the billing two two numbers? Still, while printing A B C just, D, we need to wait, wait for some time, guys. Just wait for some time. Just wait for some time. Yeah. Let's uh, complete away. Yeah. See. Okay. So here we are checking. Okay, whether A is okay less than or is equal to remaining these three or not. So if A is less than or equal to this B C D, then we should check which is the lowest number among B, C, D. Okay. If B is lowest number among B, C, D, then we, we are going to check which is the lowest number among C and D. If C is lowest number among C and D, we should print A, B, C, D. For suppose A is lowest number among B, C, D and B is lowest number among C, D. But C is not, not less than or is equal to D. Now, else, what we should print here? What we should print A, B, A, B, D, C, comma, B, comma, D, B, comma, B, comma, D, comma, C, C. Okay, B, comma, C. Okay, it is clear. Now, for suppose A is lowest number among B, C, D, but B is okay. B is not okay. Lowest number among B, C, D. Okay, not lowest number. Here condition gets failed. For suppose, then I'm going to check elif. Yeah, elif. Ah, 
Now you tell me. C is less than equal to. C is less than R is equal to B. And, and C, C is less, less than R is equal to, to B. B. Yes. Uh, now you tell me. Here, or suppose if C is less than B and D. D. Okay, B so and check D. Among B now, and D. yes, yes. If B is less than R is equal to D. Uh, now you tell me. What is the printing criteria? A comma C comma C comma B comma B comma D comma D. Else, else, A comma else. Uh, print A comma A comma C comma C comma D comma D comma B. B. Now B comma B. Ah, wait, wait. Okay, next. But suppose here B is okay, not lowest number, and C is not lowest number among the else. Okay, we can use else then. Yeah, simply we can use else, else. right? Uh, now, else means here B is the lowest number after A, right? Yes, B is the lowest number after A. Uh, now, we should ch check among what? Which number? B and C. Very good. <laughs> B is less than R is equal to C. C and uh, then what is the criteria? Printing criteria. A, A B, D, D, B, C. C. Yes. Right? Next. Else. Else. Uh, print. Else. Print. Uh, print. Print. A. 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 A D. C. B. C. B. C. B. 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 Okay. So. Yes. This is okay done for A, right? Yes. This is done for A. See how many conditions are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. See? Yes. A B C D. A D. Sorry, A B D C. See? A B D C. Next. A C B D. See? A C B D. Next, A C D B. A C D B. So how we discussed okay, before writing the code. Okay, so we return same like this. Yeah. Now, elif, elif. Uh, now in you the tell starting me. it will come, na, sir. In the starting it will come. Ah, uh, in start in that you should take away. Ah, uh, here it will come, right? If A is not okay, lowest number among A B C D. Now we should check. It will come at the starting. Is, uh, elif, uh, there will be no indent. Ah, yes. Not in there. So I am writing this elif for outer. Outer yes. if. Yeah. Uh, now you tell me. B is less than R is equal to A and uh, ah. first. Sir, if you are writing it for outer, it is still nested. Na? It should come outside. Sir, remove the indentation in 21. Totally outside, sir. Oh, we sorry, have covered sorry. all the cases for A. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. I didn't notice it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. 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 Tell me. Next. B, sir, there should be C. B is less than or is equal to A. B is, B is less than or is equal to C. C. And, and B, B is less than or is equal to D. D. Uh, now, if B is less than among A, B, C, D. Now, we should check lowest number among A, C, D. Yes. So now A is less than R is equal to C and A is less than R is equal to B. Uh, now, for suppose if A is okay less than among A, C, D. Uh, now, we should check which is the lowest number among C and D. Right? Uh, C is less than R is equal to D. For suppose. Uh, now, tell me. Tell me. Print B A comma B sorry B B B comma A comma A comma A comma C C comma D else else for suppose A is lowest among A B C D sorry B is less than among A B C D and A is less than among A C D but C is not less than D ah now you tell me what is the printing criteria here. B B A D C B A D C B A D C B A D C 
Yes. For suppose B is less, uh, less than among all numbers and A is not less than no. either C or D. Uh, now you tell me. If, alif, sir. Uh, alif. Uh, alif. Uh. Now, C is less than equal to C. A. C less than less or is equal to A and, and C less C than or is equal, equal to, to B. D. D. Right? Uh, now, if C is less than or is equal to A and D, now we should check which is the A. lowest number among C, A and D, right? D. A and D. Yeah. A less than or equal to B. A is less than or equal to B. Yeah. Print. Then we should print. Yeah. Print. B, B, C, A, D. B, C, A, D. B, C, A, D. A, D. Hmm. Else? A, D, A, D. sir. Print. A, D, sir. Yeah. So top B, is... A, D, A. Sorry, D, A. Sorry. Above it should be A, D, sir. Here, D, D, A. Next. Next. Here, default it is, right? Uh, yeah. Which is the lowest number after B? C. Now it here, is uh, D. A, B, D, right? C, it's D now. D is done. Yeah. A and D, D is the and C we should compare. Yeah. Here we should check A and C. C. If A is less than or is equal to C. Uh, now print. Colon you haven't used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we should print. B, 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 D, D, A, C. A, C. A, C. Yes. Else, uh, print B, B C A D C A B D C A, right? Yes. Yeah. Next. This is end for what? B case. B. Ah. Uh, now you tell me. Alif. Alif. Now we should check. C. Okay. For C. C. C, C is, is less than, less than, than or equal to A, A and, and C, C is, is less than or equal to B, B and, 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 and C is C less than or less than equal to B. B. Yeah. Now, if C is le less than among all numbers, uh, now we should check which is the lowest number Okay, mm -hmm. among mm -hmm. A, B, D. Right? A. Now, A is less A than or is equal to B and a, A is less than or equal to B. Yes. Uh, now we should check yes. which is the lowest number among B and B. B, right? B, yeah. B, B, D. B is less than or equal, less than or equal to D. D. Yeah. We should print, print C, A, A, B, C, A, D, B, D. B, D. D. C, A, B, B, D. 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 Yes. Else. Else. Uh, print. C, print. C A C A D B D B. Okay. Yes. yes. For suppose. Okay. For suppose. Alif. Okay. After C, A is not lowest number. Now we should check whether B is lowest number. Okay. B is less than or is equal to A. A and B is less than equal to C. B is less than or is equal to D D D D not C. Okay. Yeah D. Yeah. Now we should check which is the lowest number among A, A and D. And B. Okay. Print. Print. C. Print. C. A. B. A. B. C. B. A or B. 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 C. B. B. C. C. B. 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 A. A. D. A. D. B. D. Okay. Next. Print. Else. Print. Else. Print. Okay, else. Else means default state. After C, B is the lowest number. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now we should check. Okay, which is the A lowest A number among A and, A and B. B. A and B. Okay. If A is less than R is equal to B. Uh, now you tell me. Print. Print. C, D, D, A, B, 
so far yes else else c d c d b a b b a b a yes ah uh, now sir, you else here, uh, you missed e directly we can write else right sir uh, you else ah uh, yes 51 line yeah oh yeah yes yeah now directly we can write else right because yes, all conditions are over now else means d, this is point. default case for d for suppose d is lowest number among a b, b c d ah uh, now we should check if a among ah uh, among a b c a b c which is the high, highest uh, sorry lowest number okay a is less than or equal to b and uh, a is less than r is equal to c is it clear yes yes now now we should check what which is the greatest number sorry lowest number among b, b and, and c uh, b and c yeah uh, now you tell me anything d print d comma a b a b b c B A B C B C else else print else print D D A C B D A C B okay yes yes next else if else ah here B is lowest yes. number after that A is not okay lowest number for suppose now we should check B right. Yeah. Yes. B is less than, less than or equal to A. A and B is less than equal to C. Less than equal to C. Less than equal to C. Then if now we should check which is the lowest number among A, A and, and C, C, right? A is less than equal to C. Print. Ah, now you tell D. D comma D. D. D comma C. C. Else, else, D E B B B C A C A B C A. Okay. Yeah. Now, else, else. Okay. Else means which is the lowest number? C. After D, C is the lowest number, right? Right. A B. Next, we should check with C. But here we no need to check because already we have checked A and B. So now mm -hmm. default case is C. Uh, now we should check which is the lowest number among A and, A and B, B, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now A is less than or is equal to B. B. Uh, now print. Yeah. Oh, uh, tell me. B comma. B comma. B. C comma. Uh, A comma, A comma B, 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 right? Yes. Next, else, print, print, print. D C, B comma C, B comma C, B comma C, B comma A. Yes. 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 So you may get uh, these type of typical, okay? So problems. That's why so we return four lines. Sir, in exam, if this question comes, can we use inbuilt functions and submit, sir? Yeah, if you know, you can. So then, na in the next weeks. Ah, uh, excuse write me, sir. See here, so excuse we return me, code in. Okay. okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I have a I have a better solution for the same problem. May I share my screen? I don't know whether you have uh, uh, rights to share the. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I'm just asking you. May I? One second. Give me a second, please. Okay. Sir, can you Sorry, show the uh, show the solution? It's not. You are not audible. You are not audible. Sorry. Sir, run the test cases, sir. 
yeah yeah i will uh, are already i have run no see the miss private test case you know no Yeah, five out of five. Okay, can you keep the solution? Okay, sure. uh, See here, if you write, if one second, I'm not audible. Yeah, someone is trying audible. to speak, but he is not. I'm audible. audible, no? Yeah, you are oh, audible. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So can we see the solution? Yeah. Can you so before that? May I? Section. If you may write I... for one one, uh, if you write for so uh, one variable, you can also write for re remaining variables if you understand it properly, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you share this code? One second. Can you give me a uh, one second, please? So you are not audible if you are speaking something. Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I check it with the team. So uh, you should not share. Uh, so you don't have uh, any okay, permission okay. to share the screen. So uh, may I share my can, code? You here? can share. Yeah, you so can, you can share, share your code in the chat. Share section. your code in chat. Sir, I have written yeah. it. That's the code. That's all. Oh. You are using the concept of tuple now. No, no, nothing oh. like a tuple, sir. It's just a bubble short. Uh, I'm implementing a bubble short algorithm. It's a very friendly algorithm. Uh, we usually use this in our daily life while shooting a book or something like that. Okay. Yeah. If we, if it works, you can uh, you can write. It's working. No it's issues. Working. Yeah. So uh, see here. Here the idea is uh, understanding the concept is uh, important. Okay. So you can write in any way. Okay. 
you can write in any way so we can write a program in several ways so whatever the way you want to write you can write it okay sir uh, i have also my code can i share it why not share do you want to share screen it is not permitted no you want you to can, share code you can share your uh, code like in this yeah, you can share your code in the uh, chat box or you can share uh, in this i have shared my code now uh -oh. uh, okay okay so, so if anybody want to use uh, the code which is shared in the chat you can use okay so but uh, in initial days you uh, it's better to write uh, code like this only so in initial days okay sir so i got a idea like uh, uh, we have we have four places hamare paas char number hain aur un char numbers ko hame ascending order mein karna that is in the pairing of two to agar hum four places pe two uh, two choose out of four kare to maximum hame six conditions ko check karna hai so now i am thinking how should we arrange this basic mathematical six condition so that uh, we can just contract our code much more i'm i'm using that as well i'm just implementing six conditions there okay uh, there is uh, i can't share my code in the chat sir uh, there is a limit to the number of words that i can share yeah then share uh, part by part Oh, maybe uh, say, uh, actually, put, that, put it in actually, on the page. Actually, uh, as per my way. understanding, you can share uh, only fifteen lines of code in the Google chat. So please copy fifteen, the first fifteen lines, next fifteen lines, like that. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. I have written actually a block of code which I can, uh, which I am just copying pasting. I am just repeating it four times. Okay. Uh -huh. And okay. that is finding. I am just sharing uh, like okay. So this is the code, the section. Uh, can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the section after find smallest number is repeated four times. Okay. Maybe you can write it in Notepad. Uh, we can see it better. Copy paste it. uh pony the what does this uh, like uh, you have uh, used uh, b comma equals a okay, comma it's b it's been mentioned by the omkar by omkar sir in one of the lectures in swapping. you it's swapping yeah okay so it means you are so, replacing so, the values yeah i'm just replacing the values if a hold something and b hold something i'm just swapping those okay so uh, this is like the code block uh, after find smallest number i'm repeating it four times so what it does is uh, first it find the smallest among n1 n2 n3 n4 and then whichever is the smallest one it uh, assigns a very high value to it and then okay. i am repeating the same okay yeah you can write either way okay okay so i hope uh, this these problem statements and the solutions are clear for everyone right yes sir yeah yeah okay shall we wind up the session yes sir yes see uh, yeah. so if you have uh, any uh, other ppa doubts so you can solve uh, uh, you can clarify in uh, tuesday or uh, thursday session okay yes okay yes, sir thank you so much okay thanks for everyone just a message thank you sir for the people who Thank are you, asking Thanks, for the sir. for the suggestion um vidavrat you may join uh, the peer session that's happening by uh, from friday from monday to friday you may join that and i'll explain the code to you there you may join ah uh -huh. okay 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 pune thanks thank you sir yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir.